Mark Harmon has been an entertainment superstar for four decades, and now he's showing off a different talent with his literary debut as co-author of the new book, Ghosts of Honolulu. Please welcome Mark Harmon. I'm good. How are you? Busy. You look good. You look good too. Well, thank you. Busy's good. <laughs> all like that. Good. Good. Booked and busy. That's good. <laughs> well, we have a perfect segue to having you here at our table. Thank you for being here. Sure. Um, Ed Helms was just talking about his new body swapping Christmas movie, Family Switch. Now, last time Jamie Lee Curtis was here, uh, she told us that the sequel to her 2003 hit Freaky Friday is going to happen. <laughs> you were in the original. <laughs> we need you to confirm. Will you be in this new one? You know, I think talking to Jamie is where you got to be on this. And if she, <laughs> if she wants it to get done, it'll get done. Yep. It's yeah. that simple? It's, yeah, you know her. I mean, my goodness. <laughs> She's a mover and a shaker. You think? <laughs> 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 no, we've known each other a long time. And, uh, and if she wants it to happen, and certainly now, if she wants it to happen, I think it would happen. And then you would want to do it if, she, if they I asked think, you, I right? think it would happen. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Many of us are diehard fans of the West Wing. Um, I, as soon as I heard you were coming on, I'm like, well, West Especially Wing, our I have executive to ask. Producer. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you, uh, you were did a guest, or, or basically were on for a four episode arc as Agent Simon Donovan in 2002. You were mm -hmm. Emmy nominated for it. A beautiful but tragic story. Can you tell us what that was like being on such an iconic show? Well, with uh, with Aaron Sorkin, great words. Yes. And, and he comes at you with kind of an idea. Hey, look, we got a, we got a detail. It's a, it's a serious threat. Uh, don't know much more than that. You want to do it. Kind of <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, and then you show up on set, and you have 17 pages of dialogue, and you're working with Allison Janney, who never makes a mistake, ever. Oh, <laughs> and, is that so? And, oh, she's wonderful. She's oh, unbelievable. Yes. Wow. And like four or five days in, I was just starting to get my feet. felt good. And, and she came up one afternoon, and she said, they're going to kill you. <laughs> and, and, and I said, what do you mean they're going to kill me? She said, we're getting along too well. They're going to kill you. Yeah. Yep. And she was right. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was well, heartbreaking. You know, I'm not over it yet. Uh, that was a nice role. You know, Mark, you have worked with some great people. I, I mean, have. you just mentioned uh, Sorkin. Alan Alder, the great Alan Alder, yeah. was in uh, yes. The West right, Wing. Right. And you did the movie Summer School. Oh, Summer School. Um, oh, that's right. In, uh, I've never in 1987, seen again. <laughs> which was directed by the great uh, and extremely yeah. great Carl Reiner. Yes. Um, I mean, just the most incredible guy and talent. That was I knew such him. A good movie. How, what do you remember about that? I remember that all the kids in that movie were probably in their mid 30s. Okay, <laughs> and, and and they all had ideas. And the way Carl works, as you know, is yeah. a little bit of a spin, a little improv. Let the camera run a little bit longer yeah. every day. Yeah. Uh, and, There's the dog and peanut butter. And, and, I love it. Here we yeah. go. <laughs> oh. And every, every, every scene, every day, there was always one of those kids, and sometimes me, going, hey, how about this? Hi. And Carl would go, ha, 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 no. At least he was open to Oh, no, no, no. And, and so many of those, he, he let the camera run at the end of a take. Yeah. And just those little threads, those little yeah. 20 frames or whatever it was, it's are in the stuff movie. You wanted That's to smart. say, but you didn't, yeah. and then you, you yeah. know, and you think, yeah, oh, it's the end. Of the, I've said everything I'm supposed to say, and you say some more, and then it's like, yep, oh, keep that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. That's great. Yeah. Listen, you, you know, years later they came back and they said, we want you. Years later, and they said, we want you to do like, uh, uh, what do you call it when you, with the movie they play the movie and you yeah. comment on what. The, yes, yeah. the commentary. Yeah, 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 go along with the yeah. video because there wasn't a video when the movie came out. Awesome. And I said, absolutely. And they, I said, is Carl going to do it? And they said, he will do it. And I said, for me at this point to sit in a room with Carl Reiner for three hours, are you kidding? Sign me up. <laughs> yeah. And we had a great time. And, and oh, I, I, wow. I, I love the man. Those guys were, those guys were all awesome. mag magnificent, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. They're, Anyway, you starred as special agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs on the hit series. NCIS. <laughs> for 19 seasons. For 19 seasons. Wow. And you and your technical advisor from the show, we'll meet him shortly, have co-authored a new book, which is fantastic, called Ghost of Honolulu, which takes us back to the origins of the real NCIS. What? 
What made you want to tackle this origin story, if you will? You know, Whoopi, uh, when I first got the job and I first Googled NCIS, there was no information on it. That's by design, because yes. these individuals had been around for a long time, and they did very quiet, very important work, and no one knew about it, and nobody talked about it. And so when I got on the set, the first really I met was Leon Carroll Jr. Mm. And, um, and he, he was my guy. And, and there's a big difference here, okay? He's the real deal. I'm the actor. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> and, and what he did, uh, important job, quietly, for so many years. Mm -hmm. And when we talked about the idea of doing a book, because the show was originally based on real cases, right. um, we actually just went through history and went back to what was the beginning of NCIS, which originally was NIS, and before right. that was Office of Naval Intelligence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's where Douglas Wada came from. And so. I, I said initially I wouldn't touch this project without Leon Carroll Jr. Yeah. And he's my partner and need, I love the man. You need the oh. expert. Well, let's. Well, um, the Naval Criminal Investigative Service is legendary. So thank you for your service, Special Agent. I know you, you go by Leon, but I can't help it. Um, so we are joined in our audience by retired NCIS Special, A Special Agent Leon Carroll Jr. Um, the real deal. Someone who was in the trenches really doing the work. Um, you served for over 20 years, 20 years in the NCIS. And um, what did you learn while researching and writing this book? Well, if I can, I'd like to start with uh recognizing all the educators here in the office or in the audience. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my goal when I retired from the agency was to be a teacher. Ah. And then the offer came to work with the guy from summer school and I took it. <laughs> <laughs> but when you talk about uh, this book, uh, I learned so much because I knew nothing about Doug Wada. Ah. And most of the people in our agency didn't know. Mm. And we have a group of individuals that put together a history project. And they had a list of things that we could look at. And when Mark came to me, I looked at that and we decided that Wada was the right guy to go with because he did something that was different. It wasn't the murder of the week that you see on our show. It was counterintelligence and counterespionage. Mm. And he played such a pivotal role in war, during World War II, actually before and after World War II, with a unique set of skills. And I, I was a guy who did foreign counterintelligence as well. And as Sonny knows, being a former assistant U.S. attorney, yeah. it, that it's really hard to make those kind of cases. Yes, I know it is. you. You do. Without you, we can't make those cases. Yeah. That's exactly right. Thank you for your service. <laughs> this is crazy, but I have to. We are, have to. We're, we are at the end of this interview, and, and we're all fascinated. So, Mark and Leon's book, Ghost of Honolulu, is available now when, wherever books are sold.